Okay, so uh, welcome, welcome to all of you um, joining our March episode of Yang Can Cook with Unlock. My name is Stephanie, and on behalf of the whole Unlock team, I would like to um, say a warm welcome to all of you. And today's topic is spring menu. And Chef Yang has brought to you a um, spring dishes that not only healthy, but very tasty and easy to make. And before we start the show, I'd like to tell you something about Unlock. Um, Unlock is a nonprofit organization, and we've been serving the senior in the Bay Area for over 50 years. Our Unlock PACE program provides medical and supportive services for, for seniors so they can age at home. Our Unlock 30th Street Senior Center is the largest uh, senior center in San Francisco Bay Area, in San Francisco actually, and we offer meals, virtual classes, uh, virtual exercise classes, and uh, case management services. And today's menu is braised braise lamb shank with vegetables, uh, walk fire lamb with green onion, and our dessert is ginger red date tea, which makes me so hungry already. And I like to remind you, uh, Chef Yan would like to engage with all of you. So post your uh, post question if you have any question on the dishes, and he would love to answer those questions for you. And with that, I'd like to introduce our cooking superstar, Martin, uh, Chef Martin Yan. Yay! Martin, if you can unmute your phone. If you can unmute your phone, let's see. And then, yeah. yep, there you go. Okay, let's see. Give me one second. I just have to hide myself to the background now and then put Martin to the show. Hey, yes. Yep, there you go. I can see you. Okay, hang on. Let's see which one should we replace. This one, this one here. Hi, Martin. If you can re unmute, if you can unmute, please, Stephanie. If you can unmute, please. Hi. No. Yep, there you go. Okay, we got perfect. you. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Well, You're here. All, uh, welcome to the Unlock. Then can cope with Unlock. You know, where? Look at that, all of these wonderful things. Senior embrace life. Embrace life means you have to live a good, healthy life. That means food and exercise. Diet and exercise, very important. Okay, you can have the best diet, you can have the best healthy food, but you don't exercise, that's not good. If you only exercise without eating healthy food, but eat a lot of junk food, that is not good lifestyle. So that's the reason why Unlock have exercise program, a good program, and all these wonderful things. And so that's the reason why you and join us every month, every the first week of Thursday, and we will show you something you can do at home. Because as a senior, you don't want to spend too much money. You don't want to spend too much time. And then you want to cook something that's healthy, OK? The first thing I want to show you, I want to do three dishes today. It is very wonderful. It's very healthy. You know, I don't know what happened. This winter is extra cold. And it's still, in fact, I live up in the middle of the hill. And at night, it's still about 45 degrees, sometimes 38 degrees. So this winter actually lasts longer and the spring start a little bit later. So that's the reason why. Now, a lot of people probably know that in winter time, in the winter menu, in the early spring menu, in the Chinese restaurant, they always have a lamb dish. You know why you have lamb? Lamb is good because it has a lot of heat, uh, give you a lot of energy. There's a lot of good quality protein, but of course you can use beef or you can use lamb. Here we have some lamb, lamb stew. You can use lamb shank or lamb stew, okay? Any piece of lamb. And then I quickly poach it. I quickly poach it. The reason why I poach it is get rid of some of the blood, um, the excessive blood. So when you cook them, it is, they, they don't have that bloody foam, okay? Those protein foam and it's nice and clean. Okay, now basic ingredient, take a look at this. I have lamb stew or lamb shank, okay? And then I have bean curd stick, uh, chi chuk, chi chuk, yong yuk, chi chuk, okay? And then I also have ginkgo nut and then 
shiitake mushroom, okay? Donggu, hanggu, and then jam jo ge ji jok, yeah? It's all soak, okay? All soak. And then I also have ginger, garlic, onion, okay? And then you go there, even if you like, you like hot and spicy food, put a tiny piece of chili. And then, oh, this is it. This is chestnut. This is the dry chestnut. You can actually buy fresh chestnut. Soak them. If it's dry, you soak them. Chestnut, very popular. Uh, the logia, logia. And this is also very important, very unique. Have you ever seen this before? It's very healthy. Garlic is very healthy. This is black garlic, heat H, fermented, more or less like fermented garlic. This is a shell. This is a beautiful small garlic clove. You open this up, it looks like this inside. It looks like dry prune. You can literally eat this. You can eat this as a snack. It's just like prune, very nice. But this is very good, very healthy, okay? It is the garlic, strong garlic flavor is disappear, but you've got that beautiful heated, um, caramelized aroma. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at this. Look at it. Beautiful. Okay. Very popular in Korea. Very popular in Japan, in many Chinese restaurants in Hong Kong and China. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get the aromatic. Heat it up. Okay. And then I get ready a clay pot here. Look at that. I get ready a clay pot here. Okay. If you have two people or four people, then you would use a small clay pot. If you have a lot of people uh, cooking for six to eight people for the whole family, use a larger clay pot, okay? Very, very simple, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna heat this up, put a tiny bit of oil. I use very, very good quality oil with a lot of antioxidants, the camellia tea oil. You can use any oil anyway, okay? Aromatic, I put the aromatic right in here. Ginger, big slice of ginger, garlic, okay? Garlic, ginger, okay? And a little piece of chili, okay? And then for garlic, I actually slice the garlic like this. Okay? I slice the garlic, slice the garlic like this, okay? Thin slices. And I also put this to get the flavor out, okay? In the meantime, lettuce, I want it smells so good. Okay. And the, the aroma from the ginger, the onion, and the garlic all permeate in the air. And then the poach, the poach lamb stew. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. And then just toss a little bit and get the aromatic, it's so beautiful. And then in the meantime, you put the rest of the stuff in here. Let me show you. You put chestnut, okay? Chestnut, bean curd stick, soak already. A tiny bit of black heat, aged black garlic. You can actually buy black garlic like this. Look at this, okay, look at that. Black garlic, you can buy them in the store, okay? And then it's very, very good, you can eat it like, and then a tiny bit of green coconut, mushroom, okay? And then I add one extra thing, because this is macho, this is a Chinese mijo day, okay? And then, and this is nice, oh, look at that, beautiful, nice. And then I will add the seasoning. Let me show you what the seasoning is, okay? Everybody look at this. I have wine. I have soy sauce, I have sesame seed oil. I have a tiny, tiny bit of poison sauce, okay? This goes really well. A tiny bit of oyster sauce, okay? And all of these, I also have some spices, five spice, five pie powder, plus a tiny bit of onion salt. I put it right here, you see? Five spice powder, well done, okay? Put it right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that will be delicious, okay? And then I also put one 
piece of star anise, five gob, star anise, five gob, okay? Put it right here. And then a tiny bit of dry tangerine peel. You can buy this, this can be very expensive, okay? And I get a piece of tangerine peel and I will soak them. After I soak them, I scrape these off. You see this? You see this? You see that? I scrape this off because this is bitter. I want to get the flavor, not the bitterness, okay? Look at that. Look at this right here. And then I cut it in half and I put it right here. So all the aromatic, everything is already here. So we will put this into this clay pot, okay? Into the clay pot, let me show you, okay? Ah, the clay pot, look at that. I put this, all of this in the clay pot. I put this right in the clay pot right here. Oh, look at that. All the aromatic, all the things is right here. I'll show you, but when I, after I put it over, over here, okay? Let me show you. Look at that. Let me quickly show you how beautiful. Everything is already here, right? Except broth. So I use some chicken broth, okay? I put it right here. And I let it about one cup or half a portion. If you have to serve six or eight people, you put the whole thing in there, okay? Everybody, okay? And then everything is here. And everybody can see all the ingredients already here. Can you see that? The, all the ingredients, all the aromatic, all the spices all here. So we will remove these, okay? And show you how you can continue to cook this. Now, if you have a lamb shank, okay, lamb stew, or you can use ngau nam, okay? Instead of your nam, you can use ngau nam. Ngau nam means beef shank or beef brisket or beef stew beef, okay? If you use stew beef or stew lamb, Besides cooking it like this, it takes a little bit longer. Use instant pot. Everybody have an instant pot at home. Low pressure cooker, instant pot. This way, you can cook them all inside here. You can cook for a party of 12 people, okay? And then when this brings to a boil, I cover this up and let it simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half, okay? And let it simmer, okay? And let it simmer at the back. Ah. Anybody have any question? I'm going to ask Stephanie, yes. my dear host. Somebody should have questions. Let's ask yes. questions. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, can you I hear can me? Hear okay. You. Yeah. So no, I want. Oh, nice. So, um, why do you need to scrape up the inside of the tangerine skin? Uh, the reason is when they dry them, they don't have time to. When it was fresh, if you scrape it, it would, it would uh, dis uh, damage. The, the whole skin. So when, after they dry it, after you soak them, you can literally scrape them. And I'll mm. get your close up in to show me the other uh, soak. Uh, oh, let me show you this. Look at this. Now this is tangerine peel. The, the skin looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. But inside there, look at this. Look at all this, all this stuff. All of these. All of these is slightly bitter. Not aromatic, but bitter. So you have to scrape this off. Let me show you one more time. Mm -hmm. how easy it is to do it, okay? You put it over here, I can show you, use a small knife, a small big uh, paring knife, uh, or I can use uh, this, actually, I can use this, it's easier. You can use this, let me show you, okay, look at it. You scrape this, you scrape this, you scrape this, you scrape this, mm -hmm. look at that. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, I can see yeah. that, yeah. This is bitter, you don't want this, okay? All the good chef would take the time to Scrape this, scrape this, and I want to show you after I scrape this, the difference. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I scrape this off, and without scrape, it looks like this. Can you see the difference? Yeah, yeah. So right. it's... Yeah. So this is what you need, okay? I see, that's, I see. Yeah, that's so, how I do it. So people would like to ask you if you can do yeah. this dishes in the oven, and if so, how long do you think that would take. If you do an oven, you probably have to do it about two or three hours. Okay? Mm. You've got to do it two or three hours. 
or you can do it at the cooktop first, and then you finish up in the oven. You, you, you brace it, medium heat, you brace it. Can you see the steam? You see the steam coming out? Yes. See that? Yes. Okay. Now, to just to show you, the steam is really, really coming out. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. See that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, this is medium low. And I want to show you how wonderful it looks. Here, let me show you. Okay. Now look at this. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. It's bubbling. So, so it's bubbling and it's medium, medium, low to medium, medium. Okay. And then I put all these over here. And then towards the end, I put some green onion right on top. Okay. And maybe a tiny bit of mint too. In the meantime, I want to show you something very, very good for seniors. And it's easy to do at home. And it's a wonderful drink, a very healthy drink. Okay. Now, anyway, I, I think we, uh, uh, Stephanie, we should reward the people that ask the question, okay? Yes, yes, you're right. I am yeah. about to announce the yes. first winner uh, would be Michelle from SF from San Francisco. Yay. Hey, Michelle, Michelle from San Francisco. We all live in San Francisco. Wonderful. I, I used to have a restaurant, MY China in San Francisco, a restaurant more. But anyway, this one is very, very good to have, easy to do, and it's very healthy. Now, for in introduce the ingredient, I have rock sugar, bing tong, okay? This is a crystallized sugar called bing tong. It looks like ice. It's translucent. Look at that. It is, looks like iceberg, okay? This way. And then I have red date. Now, this red date is not the regular red date. Most of the red date looks like this, it's not pitted. And you can buy the one that's already pitted. Pitted red date, okay? You can buy them in the, in the store, okay? And then I also have fresh ginger, fresh ginger slice. I'm gonna show, quickly show you how easy it is to slice the ginger. Now, for seniors, you gotta pay attention. When you cut things at rows, you cut one side, cut off a tiny bit like this, okay? So it's flat, it stays flat. So when you cut, you can go one, two, three, and a four. And then look at how thin this slice that I have cut. Okay, look at that, very thin slices. And then after you cut all these thin slices, then you julian them. If you want to make it nice, you trim the edge, you trim the edge so it's nice and clean because I want this dish looks good. The dish not only should taste good, but should all looks good. Look at that. See this, this way, every single piece, every single shred is exactly the same thickness, the mm. same length. Look at that. Can you see that? Okay, look at that. So that's how we do it, okay? And then you put all this shredded ginger right here. Okay, how do you peel the ginger? Let me quickly show you how easy it is to peel the ginger, okay? We'll peel the ginger like this. You have a piece of ginger right at home. Our senior friends, you use a spoon or you use a peeler. You how, how you peel the ginger, look at that. You hold onto this, use a spoon, you scrape this and you scrape this, you scrape this, you scrape this, and you peel the ginger like this. Look at how, how, how wonderful. When you peel ginger like this, you are good because you only peel the skin. You do not waste any actual fresh of the ginger. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Okay, and then this is how we do it. Use a little spoon, okay? You don't you need a peeler, okay? Now, we're gonna use a pot. we we'll show you. First, we heat this up. Any questions so far? Is anybody joining yes. us today are from out of, out of California, out of state? Raise your hand, ask yeah. question. I, yeah, I have Beth from Minnesota. Minnesota, wow. welcome. Wow, it's so far. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't it no, cold? It's there? so cold, so cold. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how's the weather? Let me ask you. How is the weather in Minnesota today? 
Let's see if I can see her reply in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How how cold is it in Minnesota today? It must be pretty cold. Yeah. So we have also we have Teresa from Texas. Wow. Oh, Teresa, Texas. Te is Texas cold or, or warm or or what? California is pretty chilly today. Yeah, uh, it's chilly. It's raining today too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, now I use about one and a half cup of water. It depends on. I think what you should do is each person should have one cup. If you have two people, two cups. Three people, three cups of, of water, okay? Put the ginger right here. I want the ginger flavor. I, in fact, ginger tea is very, very healthy. You have soft throat and you have a little cough and then also help uh, the digestion too. So ginger tea is actually a medicine in many parts of Southeast Asia. Uh, the Vietnamese, the Indonesian, they have ginger tea, okay? And then I put the, oh, look at that. This one we put on. This is Chan Pei. This is the. Chef, yeah, I, I sorry to cut you off, but we have a, we have a guest from overseas from Ireland and it's midnight Ireland. there, yeah. Midnight, welcome from Ireland. Midnight welcome. Ireland. Well, now all the, the, the person from Minnesota and the person from Ireland definitely deserve to have a copy of my cookbook, Martin Yen's China. And then another one from Minnesota, Martin Yen's Quick and Easy. And then the wonderful guest locking in from Texas, we will definitely gonna send you my finger guard. Look at that, special gift for those people that end being so interactive. Now, if you have the must be a red day, this red day, Hong Zhou, red day, this red day, you show you. See, red day looks like this, okay? Let me show you the dry red day, okay? And then you put the red day, which is already pitted. I put it over here. I put about four or five or six, three or four per person. If you have two people, you do four to eight, uh, eight, eight, eight of these, okay? Look at that. And then I put the rock sugar. Depends on how sweet you want it to be, okay? I put the rock sugar. I put the rock sugar here. No, I don't want to put the whole thing, okay? One big tablespoon per glass is perfect. Now, this is the red date. It looks like this, okay? Red date, dry red date that you can buy in the Asian store, okay? And then in the meantime, I also want to show you something that you will be happy to see. Besides the fresh ginger, I have candy ginger, crystallized ginger, tong gum, okay, tong gum. And you can buy them in all the stores. It's basically a good snack. I also slice the crystallized ginger, crystallized ginger, crystallized, okay? And I also put the crystallized ginger in there and I save a few to sprinkle it on top later, but the rest, I actually put it right on inside this liquid, okay? Put it right here. And then the rest I sprinkle it on later, okay? In the meantime, I think this is getting there. We will, oh, this is so beautiful. Very, very slow, very low heat. I will show you, it's beautiful, okay? And then I will show you this is gonna be beautiful, okay? And then the last thing I wanna show you is a tiny bit of right before you serve. It doesn't, as long as the sugar melted, let me show you. As long as the sugar melted, it's okay. You can see whether the sugar is already melted. You see, the sugar is already uh, beautiful. Look at that, all melted, okay? And then I can turn it down a little simmer. Turn it down and let it simmer, okay? Now everybody know about the red day, right? Everybody know, the, know about the red day already, right? Um, I think probably it's better for you to say it one more time. And people ask you what's the difference than the, um, uh, the yellow cane sugar and the rock cane sugar. Okay. Uh, the rock cane sugar is actually uh, more pure. The yellow cane sugar it's darker in color, even the yellow, sometimes they're also pretty dark. It's a little more, uh, less refined. 
than the rock sugar, okay? The rock sugar is actually pretty sweet. And the sweetness is really, really amazing. Very, very delicate sweetness. And the sugar cane sugar, the yellow or the dark brown yellow cane sugar, it's a little very, very sweet. So you can use a little bit less, less delicate, okay? When tiny uh, master chef do dessert, they normally prefer to use rock sugar, okay? More delicate, okay? Good question. Another special gift for you. Ah, look at that. Thank God for this wonderful question, okay? Now, in the meantime, towards the very end, I will put goji berry. This is goji berry. You can buy it in any store, any health food store, any drug store. Goji berry, health food store, uh, uh, um, uh, whole food, uh, whole food, even Costco sell this goji berry. You can buy them and eat it as a snack. It's very, very healthy, okay? It's a health food. I put this in. So this way, it is really, really beautiful. It's ginger and it's red date and let it sit there and finish cooking, okay? Now, I want to show you, come back. I will show you this, okay? Everybody see. Look at that. Let us check it out. The lamb stew, okay? Whenever you touch anything hot, when you open the lid, never, never open it this way. Always open the other side, like this, outside. This way, you won't get yourself have a steam bath, okay? The thing is, very dangerous. Open it, don't open it. Don't open it this way, okay? Very dangerous to do it like this. Always open it this way, okay? Now, let me check. Let me check look how beautiful this lamb shell. Chef Yan Pip, um, some people want to ask you if you put that into in the instant pot, how long would you, how long would you, in, how long instant, would it take? Yeah, instant pot because it's pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker. You got low pressure or high pressure or medium pressure. If you do a big large pot with this, it cut down to about 60 to 80 percent of the cooking time. You can actually do it here in the instant pot with the same pot, doing it in an oven or cooktop. You can do it probably in about, um, let at the most half an hour to 40 minutes, okay? And then, of course, I always, always use, make my own stock, soup stock with chicken bone, pork bone, uh, carrot, uh, dry shrimp, and a uh, uh, dry scallop, and I, Scream the, the fat off so this way there's no fat. It's, see, this is very, very healthy. Mm, let me open very, very ha. Oh. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, no fat, no fat. See, no fat. That's the reason why healthy cooking is all about no fat. And then in the meantime, this is the broth that I use, okay? I put it over here. And then when it's almost ready, I have some green onion. I'm gonna get some green onion. And then I thicken this up. The key is to slightly thicken this up. Look at that, look at that. I thicken this up. Okay, look at that, beautiful. I cook this up. I use a tiny bit of cornstarch, one portion of cornstarch to two to three portions of liquid, okay? And then I thicken this up, and towards the end, I put a tiny, tiny bit of sesame seed oil, okay? A few drops of sesame seed oil, and a few, a little dash of white pepper, okay? Give a little kick to it, okay? That's all. And then towards the end, let me show you. Beautiful. This is amazing, okay? And this is almost ready. I'm going to show you how to serve these. I cut this up into beautiful pieces like this one. And an angle. I cut it an angle, 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 angle. So look at that. Look at that how I do it. Okay. I cut it an angle. And then the rest I don't need. So I put it over here. Okay. I'm going to show you how to garnish this dish. And then when this is done, this is beautiful. Just the right amount of cornstarch, okay? 
just the right amount of cornstarch to thicken it. And the start, I would like to have a lot of extra sauce. Look at that. If you wanted to make this to be a little bit darker, let me show you. With dark soy, we show you to change the color, okay? Look at how beautiful this is. And then, if you want to make this sauce a little bit darker, this dark soy sauce. How can you tell, particularly our friend from Texas or Minnesota or Ireland, dark soy sauce, when you shake the bottle, it stain the bottle, dark soy, see that? Mm. This light soy does not stain the bottle. The light soy does not stain the bottle, okay? Dark soy, stain the bottle. I will show you, let's uh, put a few drops of dark soy, just show you the change of color, okay? Look at that. Immediately, light soy. Light soy, this is light soy. When you, when you shake the bottle of light soy, that's not stain the bottle. See that? Light soy, light color soy. Lee Kam Ki, Kiko Man, all of these. Oh, wow. Ting Ting Tong Chow. This dark soy, light soy, dark light. Look at that. So just in case, they're all available in the store. Now, look at that. All of a sudden, the color of the rainbow immediately changed. Look at that. Can you see the color? Yeah, I can see the oh, color. So yeah, people ask oh, you, it, 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 does it taste different, the light, uh, light soy yeah. and the dark soy? Does it taste a little different? The person asked this question, find out who, uh, where they're coming from. Uh, where, Sandy, did you just post this question? Where are you from, Sandy? Where are you from? Can you post it in the chat, please? Yeah, I want to find out where you're from, because I want to give you some idea. Canada. Where are you from? Canada, well, where part, what part of Canada? What part in Canada, Sandy? Let's see. Western, Western part of Canada. Oh, Western of BC or Calgary, <laughs> maybe in Calgary. And now I'm gonna show you this, okay? I'm gonna show you how to present this dish. Whenever you cook a dish, you have to learn how to present it, okay? Mm. Now look at that. This is how beautiful. Okay, this is the lamb stew that very good for such cold weather, cold winter, cold spring, particularly in Minnesota and Ireland. Okay, and I am not kidding. This is going to be good. You can use beef stew. You can use lamb stew. You can use lamb shank. You can use all kind of stuff. I don't want to waste this, okay? Now look at how beautiful. That looks so good. It looks amazingly delicious, okay? It is also, it keeps you warm in the, in the winter. And then this is how you do it. When this is done, you always, always remember to clean up your plate because you're eating with your eye first. Nowadays, when we eat, we always, always remember to take pictures first. Okay, now this is how you do it, okay? This doesn't look very good, right? So, let me show you. I put the lamb. I put the lamb right on top. That's how you do it, okay? You put the lamb right on top. And you put the mushroom right here. Nice and rich. Beautiful color, okay? Nice and rich. And then all the ingredients, all the... the chestnut look at that the chestnut right here right here the chestnut right here and the ginkgo nut right here and this is the chestnut right here okay look how beautiful and then sprinkle a tiny bit of green onion right on top okay this is how beautiful this is this is a great dish and then lamb goes really well with mint so I put a tiny piece of mint right here, a tiny piece of mint right here. Let me show you. And color, we want to have some beautiful color. Wow, that looks so Look good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> this is a braised lamb with yeah. chestnut and beautiful. shiitake mushroom and all kind of goodies, and that's how we do it. In the meantime, let us check out the tea. Wow, let me show you. The tea looks also very good. Let me check 
and taste the tea and make sure it's not too sweet and it's just sweet enough, okay? Shamian, yes. one, uh, one audience want to ask you, can you cook it, the, 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 the lamb dish in a uh, crock pot? I like the idea. That's a great suggestion and a great question. You deserve Martinian's quick and easy. Okay, so you know why I, I, I like your question? Because if you, a lot of people have crock pot. When you cook crock pot, crock pot, the good thing is about slow cooking. You can cook it for several hours. When you, when you go to work, you put it in the crock pot, heat it up. By the time you come back, the dish is ready. It's perfect. I like that, the crock pot idea. Now, this is just the perfect sweetness, okay? So we will serve these beautiful tea right in this beautiful bowl here. This is my red date, ginger red date with a tiny bit of, ah, oh, look at that. Look at how beautiful this is. This is amazing. And not only I have fresh ginger, I have also have Hindi ginger, and then of course, this is so, it flows. I want this to flow on top. Look at that. Look how beautiful. That's the second dish, okay? Now, everybody know, lamb. I mentioned about lamb, how good lamb is, right? So, lamb is good for winter because it gives you a lot of bodily heat, particularly uh, some of us are seniors, uh -huh. uh, here, senior. Sometimes I go to sleep, my feet get a little bit cold. And my hand get a little bit cold, particularly when I work in my garden. So in the last couple of months, I have maybe one or two lamb dish at least once or twice a month, okay? And uh, this was lamb stew, right? The good thing about this is you can cook this ahead of time and then keep in the fridge. Whenever you want to eat, you toss it, you heat it up, and you are ready to go. And put it over spaghetti, noodle, rice, wonderful. The next one I want to show you is another dish, which is, I have a piece of lamb. This is lamb tenderloin, okay? Or you can use lamb tenderloin or lamb chop, beautiful lamb like this, okay? And then I want to slice this lamb into thin slices. And I also cook with a tiny bit of onion, purple onion, okay? Purple onion, and then set it aside, a regular yellow onion, and then this is it, leek, okay? Leek, dai chong, dai xun, da xuan, da chong, okay? And then I cut it up and the angle like this, one and a two. And a three, and then it looks like this. When you wash this, you got to take it out. You got to clean it up leaf by leaf like this, okay? Got to clean it up like that, okay? And then this way, we're going to use it for stir fry. I use the tender pot. I only use the tender pot, okay? And then you have all of these. The tender pot from the middle, I also want to use it, okay? In the meantime, I also use some green onion. Okay, so look at that. Green onion. These are the four different things that I, I, I want to show you. These are the things that I have. The aromatic, okay? And then of course, always, always have garlic. I peel the garlic, you see? I peel the garlic like this, okay? And I slice the garlic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I slice the garlic. And I have to, I want to use two pieces of garlic. Little whack, the whole thing comes out like that. And then once again, now our friends from um, out of California, this is how you hold until night. Index finger, your thumb, three finger. You go downward, forward, downward, forward, downward, forward, downward, forward, downward, forward, downward, forward, okay? And then if you're not used to this knife, Hey, by all means, don't worry. I am sending you one of my finger guard. Look at that. This is the finger guard. You put your finger here, 
And then when you cut with that, you protect your finger, see this? Okay, that's wonderful. So some lucky audience today, participant today, particularly a couple of people from out of the state. Uh, you are more than welcome to get one of these from my good friend, the host from Unlock, Stephanie. When you ask Stephanie for anything, Stephanie will never refuse, okay? Now, the next thing I want to show you is a dish everybody has to Now, Zhang Bao Yang Rou. That means you use high temperature, you use a very special sauce to brace, to quickly walk, fry this lamb, okay? We got all of these ingredients here, okay? We put all this in here, and we put all the ingredients here, okay? And that, I have, uh, even, even uh, my dogs in my house is getting very, very uh, hungry. They can smell the lamb, they can smell all of these ingredients, okay? Okay, now, wonderful. This is all the aromatic that I will be putting it in, okay? All the aromatic, this is how you do this. At home, when you do this, you always prepare this ahead of time. Set it aside, don't do it in the last minute, okay? And then in the meantime, I heat up the wok, I cut up the lamb, you see the fat? I trim the fat off. Parallel cutting, you see how I use my knife? I put my hand here and I go, seesaw, 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 and I go, seesaw, 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 and then I trim the fat off, okay? And then I slice this, now this is how I do it, just like a sushi shop. I slice it like this, one slice, look at that, okay? And then one slice, okay? Parallel cutting, you see? Another one sliced, okay? Look at that, that's how chef does it, okay? And then we, Put it all over here. We marinate this basic marinade. Let me show you. Very simple. A tiny bit of soy sauce. Okay. Premium soy sauce. I use the um, Tin Ding Tao Chao. I use a double fermented soy sauce. Okay. I put it right here, about a teaspoon. Okay. Because it's lamb, you can also use um, dark soy sauce. Lamb and beef, you use dark soy sauce to marinate. Chicken and seafood, or particularly chicken, or pork, you can use like soy sauce. Tiny bit of sesame seed oil, okay, give that aromatic. And then a tiny, tiny bit of pepper, and a tiny bit of cornstarch, and wine, okay? Look at that. Cornstarch to help the seal in the juice, to make this piece of lamb tender on, beautifully tender. And then Shaoxing wine, or rye, or sake, okay? Or white wine is would do, okay? When you marinate, Always marinate with the chopstick, okay? In the meantime, I want to show you, this is going to be so beautiful. Now, this is a little trick that I like to remind you the chef use. But I, I have restaurant. In fact, we'll be opening a restaurant in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, my Asia, Martinian's Asia, okay? So I welcome you to come and I will personally cook for you, particularly our friend from Minnesota, from Ireland, from Texas, okay? Now, look at that. Now, this is a trick, okay? After you marinate it for half an hour, you put a tiny, tiny bit of oil before you, you put it in a wok. Why? Because when you add cornstarch, because the cornstarch, they tend to stick, right? So when you put a tiny bit of oil, just like you put oil in your engine, you lubricate these pieces. So this way, when you stir, Fry this, they do not get stuck. Look at that, okay? Marinate this ahead of time. Let this all the aromatic. Then I'll show you what kind of seasoning we'll put it in. This is called Zhang Bao means very high temperature, very fast because you don't want to overcook the lamb, okay? Lamb stew or beef stew is different. You gotta cook it long enough, and nice and tender. But this is lamb tenderloin or the lamb chop. You can use lamb chop, no problem, okay? I heat this up, I put this in. Anybody else have any question about lamb, about beef? You can use beef, you can use wagyu beef, you can use beef for this particular dish. You can use chai tip, you can use a stir fry, a stir fry, wok fry, a beef, 
um, slice it, and you can use a uh, uh, tendon, and you can uh, use a um, T-bone, you can use any of the food quality beef, okay? Then when we, this is done, yes. We have, um, we have another winner is uh, Nancy from Vermont. Nancy from Vermont, wow, Vermont. Vermont must be really snowing or cold right now. Welcome to California. Welcome to sunny California. Well, yeah. You win a special prize. You and know also, what? Also, I, I would, would like to, yeah. a, lot, a lot of people have a lot of questions. I'm trying yeah, to sort uh, them through, actually. No, no problem, no problem. I will stick around, ask, uh, answer more questions, don't worry. Now look at that. When you do stir fry bao, particularly zhang bao, means hot wok, cool, and then put this in very, very hot. Can you hear the sizzling sound? Can you hear the sizzling sound? Yes. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, ask a little more bit. Question. Look, look at that, look at that, beautiful. Nothing should be overcooked. You do beat the same way, okay? And then you pop, 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 okay? So they you ask you know, what what are the difference that uh, um the Chinese soy sauce or, or the Japanese soy sauce or okay, Korean I soy sauce. I'm happy to answer that. Now when this is done, I'm gonna show you. When this is done, I will bring this up. Let me show you. Never overcook your meat. This is the way you cook it, okay? This I sear the meat for about two minutes, one and a half minutes. Look at that. Nice and moist and tender, okay? And then I put the aromatic. Beautiful, you see that? Beautiful. And then I put the aromatic right here. I put this, 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 this. Oh, look at that. This is gonna be beautiful, okay? Look at that. This is gonna be so good. And I left the aromatic. The Japanese soy sauce, like you can buy it in Hikoma or Yamasa, basically, they are less salty, a little bit less salty. The salt content is about 15.6%. The Chinese soy sauce, on the other hand, sometimes about 17 to 18% salt content, okay? And also, uh, it's not as sweet. Uh, the, the, the Japanese soy sauce is normally slightly sweeter and a little bit more, a little tint of alcohol flavor, okay? And then when this is done, I put this back over that nice, High temperature, put a tiny bit of splash, a tiny bit of sake. Nice. Oh, let the aroma permeate into every single piece. Then I put this back here. Look at that. Uh, now, this is going to Finally, hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce. Okay. Now, tiny bit of oyster sauce. Now, a few drops of our premium soy sauce. Just a few drops to balance the flavor. Because the hoisin sauce is pretty, pretty sweet. Now, wow. wow, that should be filmed down. That means, look at that. It's so aromatic. We could be here. You know, the, my friend from uh, Ireland and Vermont. You should be here. This is so beautiful. Now, if you like, put a tiny bit of ball on a rice splash. Whoa. Wow, look at that. Your whole kitchen smells. And then, if you like honey spicy food, by all means, chili garlic sauce. Look at that. Put a tiny bit of chili garlic sauce right there. And then you, chopstick is a very good functional. Look at that. No, this is actually very, very good. Just very dry, okay? Not too much liquid or soft, because I want to have every single piece of this coated. Coated with, oh, coated with soft. You know what? This is done. I'm telling you how beautiful this is. This is, uh, I brought it back from, the imperial dynasty, imperial banquet is the surfing plate. And I put this right over here. And this is, oh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. You can hear the seasoning tongue. That's what makes it a hot rock. 
Look at that. This is so beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Yet nothing left over, right? So that's how you present your dish. Look at how beautiful. Look at that. Always, always remember things that you put your principal actor right on top when this is done. Always, always make it more interesting, okay? Always make it more interesting. Always. Look at this. Look at that, okay? So, very simple, very easy. Everybody can do this at home. Now, today, I actually show you how to do things that perfect for senior in a cold winter night. Lamb stew, okay? Use lamb, shen, lamb stew mixed with all kinds. You can put some carrot, you can put some, uh, but this is more traditional. You can put carrot, you can put celery, you can put all kinds of stuff in here. And then this is another dish that everybody can enjoy. This is a zhang bao, zhang bao yang rou pian. Uh, means um, walk fire, because it's like you catch a fire. Walk fire, thinly slice of lamb with leek and green onion and a few slice of garlic. And then this is for all the senior, perfect for senior, because this is so healthy. And this is red date, goji berry, and ginger tea with a piece of dry tangerine peel to flavor it. So the aromatic. So today we have presented to you these three dishes not only good for the whole family, but for you. All of you from the state of California, from out of state, from out of the Bay Area, I'm, I'm quite sure we have hundreds of people locking in today. Today, we are Yan Can Cook with Unlock. We offer so much wonderful services to thousands and thousands of seniors in the Bay Area that everybody should always support Unlock. In the meantime, I welcome all of you from Ireland, from Vermont, from Minnesota, from Texas. Come and visit San Francisco Chinatown. My Chinatown, your Chinatown, everybody's Chinatown. We welcome you to come to Chinatown. That means we welcome you to visit San Francisco. We welcome you to visit California, particularly our wonderful Bay Area, okay? So next month, we're gonna show you some of my favorite comfort food. Remember, every month, the first Thursday, I will be walking up a storm with you from the Bay Area, from California, from the West Coast, and from around the world. Now, once again, look at that. If you have question about recipe or the book or cooking tips, you can always check Marty at yankincook.com, okay? And then also make sure to check our recipe, our show today, our presentation today on Unlock's website, Unlock's YouTube, Unlock's social media, and also on Marty Yen's social media, okay? so. Now, I'm quite sure, Stephanie, more people have questions. I will hang around and ask, um, answer some questions. Yes, before we go into the question, we last, yes. we want to announce the last lucky winner, Sharon. Wow, our team already contacted with you. Sharon, congratulations, yay. Sharon, Sharon, yay. congratulations. Yay, yeah. we have. Well, I, I think our team already con um, connected with you, Sharon. Also, um, some people would like to ask you what type of tofu if you would like to substitute with like um, instead of meat. Okay. Now, if you are if you are on a diet, a vegetarian diet, or you're vegan, or if you um, a love plant based diet, what I suggest to you, uh, you can use a different kind of. Thing. We'll show you the pressed bean curd. 
and the fur of tofu. Uh, the, 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 the tofu, tofu in Cantonese, tofu in, in, in Mandarin. In Japan, Japanese is called tofu. It's soya bean curd. Now, you can have firm bean curd, okay? You can have different kind of bean curd. I'm gonna put this over here so everybody can see. My, look at that. Let me show you this, okay? Look at that. This is a wonderful dish that I will show you. I will show you, you can have firm bean curd if you want to do stir fry. You want to make soup, you use salt bean curd or silken bean curd, okay? Besides that, you can have pressed bean curd. Pressed bean curd, you can use it for salad, you can use it for stews, you can use it for soup, and it's packed with calcium, packed with vegetable protein. So this is good to replace meat. And then you also have the bean curd sheet that you can use it like a wrapper. Look at that bean curd sheet, okay? Look at this, Look how big this is. Look at this, bean curd sheet, okay? And all of these are very, very good uh, for um, wonderful vegetarian based diet. So bean curd sheet, we already show you the bean curd steak, and then pressed bean curd, and then we have tofu. The tofu have silken tofu, soft tofu, firm tofu. Okay, so it depends on what dishes you are doing. All of these are wonderful dishes that you can use tofu. And then, of course, if you want, you can use plant-based ground meat. Plant-based ground meat right here, okay? This is plant-based ground meat. I always carry this because uh, sometimes I feel like having a plant-based uh, dinner. So I will use that and put in soup, make meatball, and I stir fry with tofu, all kinds of things. Thank you so much for asking a wonderful question. I will send you, whoever asks this question, and I'm quite sure, Stephanie, I'm going to send you one of my finger cards. You cannot find this in any retail market, okay? Stephanie, please send this person, my good friend, our friends, this finger card for me, okay? Nice. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Yan. Thank you very much for today's show. And I would like to um, get some housekeeping item. Hang on. Sorry. One second. Okay. There we go. Hi. I hope you all enjoyed today's show and thank you very much, um, Chef Yan, for all, all this amazing food. I'm super hungry now. I'm I'm sure everybody is the same like me, especially the uh, the the uh, Mary in Ireland. I don't know how you feel in the middle of the night seeing all this food, right? So okay, so um, by uh, let me see one second. Sorry about that. I would like to show it to you our con how to connect with us. Okay. 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 So um, join us next time, first uh, Thursday of each month. And um, next show will be on April 7, 4 to 5 p.m. And you will be receiving uh, our Eventbrite uh, emails, then you know when to sign up. And if you want to follow, uh, know more about the recipe and all that, uh, 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 search us on unlock.org and um, you will find us on our website. And also this, uh, this show will be posted on our YouTube channel next week. Or, uh, I hope that I can get it on early next week. And um, search us on youtube.com slash unlock. And that will be that will be tonight. And thank you everybody for joining our show tonight. I wish to see you next next month. Bye. Uh, 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 Stephanie, before you close, I want to re remind them they also when they do plant-based plant -based dishes, you can have, you do not have to use oyster sauce. You can use mushroom stir fry sauce. You can buy them uh, in any Asian store worldwide, even in Ireland and Minnesota. In Texas, you can buy this. It's called vegetarian stir fry sauce for your plant based dishes. Okay? Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you. See you next time. Bye, Xiaoyan. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.